When Toyota announced plans of its smart city project, it put technology in the driver's seat. No one wants a crystal ball as much as the automobile industry. Everyone wants to know when will cars truly drive themselves. Tech startups like Lyft and Uber joined that race for self-driving technology, but both have now changed gears. Lyft joining Uber in selling off its autonomous tech unit. The $550 million deal gives Toyota access to technology and a spot in Silicon Valley, with access to more than 300 Lyft employees. It also speaks to the, how difficult the process is that Lyft has decided to go ahead and step back a bit and, and focus on, on more of their core business because Lyft's core business wasn't that technology element of things and they were still going to have to deploy it on another vehicle. Toyota can, already has the vehicles and can deploy it. The Japanese automaker will use Lyft's technology in its Woven Planet project, a living laboratory near Japan's Mount Fuji, where technology like autonomous vehicles will be tested in a real-world environment. Lyft and Toyota will work together on self-driving safety there, the type of collaboration Brinley expects to see more of. Self-driving cars take a lot of computing technology, a lot of artificial intelligence, a lot of sensors, a lot of things that automakers traditionally, have, you know, nobody's actually good at yet because we're still developing. So we're going to see a lot of change as this evolves and as it actually comes to market. Um, we're going to see partnerships. We're going to see automakers or, or startups or Ubers and Lyfts, companies that were involved, step out. They may step back in again. Rather than rivalry, new rules of the road that could help the self-driving industry accelerate a little faster. Nick Harper, CGTN, Washington.